New information has come out regarding space-time distortions, and this changes everything. Let's break it down. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I hope you guys a brand new video today, and today we are talking space-time distortions in Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you're like me, you've been shiny hunting for one of the starter Pokemon, in my case, Shiny Oshawott and Samurott in space-time distortions, and they take forever to form. If you haven't seen my previous video, I kind of broke down the mechanics as to how space-time distortions work, and I'll recap some of that in this video, but new information has come out regarding space-time distortions and something that keeps them from spawning. So ultimately, this little tip that I'm gonna give you is gonna make a huge difference in terms of getting space-time distortions to ultimately spawn faster for you and more effectively for you to ensure that you're able to get the maximum amount of counters that you're looking for, farm the money, farm the shinies, whatever it may be. So hit that like button down below if you find this video helpful. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on our epic Pokemon Legends Arceus content and beyond. And without further ado, let's talk exactly what you need to know about space-time distortions. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of set the scene here by just explaining a little bit about it. We know that space-time distortions form every five, 10, 15, 25, and 40 minutes in the game. However, there were instances of people who were waiting 40 minutes in the game and they weren't able to get a space-time distortion to form. And if you don't know if you're in battle or if you rest to a different time of day or you enter a cave or something like that, like a snow point temple, for example, it basically stops or pauses your space-time distortion and resets the timer. So it's important that you're not doing those things. Battling pauses it, the other things end up uh, kind of restarting it. So the kind of the ideal scenario is you legitimately just wait in camp or you roam around and just don't battle things and you have the potential to get a space-time distortion in, in increments of 5, 10, 15, 25, or 40 minutes. And as the timer goes up, the chance of getting a space-time distortion increases. So it goes from a 10% at 5 minutes to a 30% at 10 minutes, and it scales all the way up to a 100% chance at 40 minutes. However, Sabuna underscore Switch, who continues to be amazing in the community doing this research, has done research regarding these space-time distortions and indicated that there are three particular types of weather that prevent space-time distortions from forming. So what does this mean? It means that if you hit one of those increments and the weather is happening, you actually won't get a distortion at all, which explains why people were going hours without seeing distortions despite doing nothing but waiting, because the weather just happened to align with the time as the distortion would have normally formed. So let me break this down a little clearer. There's three particular types of weather that will stop a space-time distortion from forming. Intense sun, snowstorm, and thunderstorm. And I'll have these icons here on the screen for you guys. So the long and short of it is basically this. When you are farming for space-time distortions, you are gonna wanna keep a timer. Now you can use my Shiny Hunt app, which is available for free on iOS and Android devices, or go to shinyhunt.com, and you can actually see there's a timer there for your encounters, and you can keep track of that. What I recommend is as you are approaching those time, those important time increments, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes, and 40 minutes, when you are about 30, 45 seconds away from that increment, you should check what your weather is by simply pressing the minus button on your keypad or your controller you'll pull up the menu and you can see in the top left hand corner what your weather is and if your weather is one of these three undesirable weathers there's a special tip that you guys can do and i tested this on my live stream you can kind of see some footage here as we play it in the background but you're going to want to enter a battle with a wild pokemon why do you do that well weather can change while you're in battle with a wild pokemon However, being in battle with a wild Pokemon pauses the space-time distortion timer. So what you're effectively doing here is you're pausing the timer for the space-time distortion, allowing you to basically stop at, let's say, 4 minutes and 30 seconds, but you're making the game advance forward so it doesn't keep you in that weather. So that way, when the game hits the 5-minute timer, if it, it'll have a different weather and thus can roll a potential for a space-time distortion. This changes so much, guys, because it ensures that one, you'll always get your distortion by 40 minutes, and two, it's gonna ensure that you're gonna get your distortions faster, because I could tell you after testing for hours yesterday, there were so many instances where if I was not doing this method, if I was not stopping, paying attention, jumping into a battle every 5, 10, 15, 25, or 40 minutes, if my weather was incorrect, I was missing distor potential distortion spawns, essentially, right? It, the weather is very common, especially in the, co uh, in the um, Alabaster Icelands. Snowstorms are very common. So the likelihood that a snowstorm is landing on that 5, 10, 15, 25, or 40 minute increment is pretty high, like half the time it was happening. So by stopping and getting into a battle for two, three minutes usually, 
you prevent yourself from skipping that space-time distortion check and ultimately guarantee that at least the game is going to give you a chance to have a space-time distortion spawn at those time increments and this ultimately guarantees that by 40 minutes or maybe a little longer because you have to wait in battle you will guarantee a space-time distortion and again this is a game changer again I, I feel like this explains so much for so many people who have these weird anomalies of not getting any distortions at all it explains not like waiting hours and hours and hours and it also ensures that you're getting them faster because again you're not skipping those checks at the 5 10 15 25 and 40 minute increment mark so again my advice is really really simple here keep an eye out depending on the location you are of these three types of weather intense sun snowstorm and thunderstorm and if you run into those weathers and it's like 30 seconds 20 seconds before those increment checks 5 10 15 25 and 40 get into a battle with a wild pokemon and just wait just wait until the weather changes you'll see it visually change on your screen and at that point you can run from the battle and then the game will have the chance to, to check for it i highly recommend using my app shiny hunt it'll allow you to uh, keep track of these timers yourself and it worked incredibly well yesterday like this was a game changer is i would get able to get distortion so much faster simply because i wasn't skipping checks essentially right all right so we have the weather that we do not want so in about a minute or so i gotta fight something okay it changed as more information comes out we'll keep updating you guys but i feel like this this is a groundbreaking thing for anyone who's shiny hunting and distortions i feel like if you know my pain right now trying to get this shiny samurai then you know what i'm talking about because it takes a long time but hopefully this video helps you and of course if you want to watch me shiny hunt samurai i do it every day at twitch.tv slash a drive <laughs> so big shout outs to sabuna underscore switch or anubis for doing the research and kind of hacking the game to be able to determine this a lot faster but this is a huge change and it de definitely gives us a better approach i do want to mention because i didn't mention it before and i probably should have is people are going to probably say why don't you just rest at the camp it'll change the weather if you rest for just a little while it actually doesn't change the weather right and if you rest for anything longer than that you change the time of day and thus restart your distortion timer so my recommendation at this point is definitely to just get into battle pause the distortion timer wait for the weather to change exit the battle your distortion timer will continue and there's a nice little pause feature on my app as well so my recommendation at this point is definitely to just get into battle pause the distortion timer wait for the weather to change exit the battle your distortion timer will continue and there's a nice little pause feature on my app as well hit that like button if you found this video helpful and of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are new that's gonna be for me guys my name is dan i also go by a drive and i will see you guys on the next one peace